Well, the weather certainly doesn't feel like it, but this is an official marker that spring is here. We're talking about opening day. The Nats hosting the Mets for a delayed 7 o'clock first pitch. Fox 5's David Kaplan in Southeast tonight outside of the ballpark. All right, David, the countdown is out, and it looks like there's actually people lining up at the gates. Well, you know, I got to say, they opened the gates about 90 minutes before first pitch, and boy, are people already lined up, ready to watch some Nationals baseball. Let's talk a little bit about expectations here. You know, there's an old saying, 162-game season, you're going to win 54, you're going to lose 54. It's what you do with the other 54. Well, this team only won 65 games last year, so fans are hoping for the best. They're excited for some of the younger players, Victor Robles, Josiah Gray, to name a few. Excited about some of the older guys. The veterans brought in Sean Doolittle, Steve Ciszek in the bullpen, as well as Nelson Cruz to play DH. Yes, I said DH. It's here at an NL ballpark for the first time this season. But the one name that we keep hearing over and over again are people very, very excited to watch Juan Soto play baseball. That. I mean, I love Juan Soto, so it's uh, easy to pick a favorite player. I'm also really happy they signed uh, Nelson Cruz, and I'll get to see him in person for the first time. I'm just... excited, yeah. Um, mostly excited to see Juan Soto play. Hopefully he get an MVP this year. We will see about that. Now, we got to talk a little bit about Max Scherzer. He is on the Nets, the very Mets that the Nats are opening the season against. However, Scherzer expected to take the bump tomorrow night here at Nats Park. Seen a few Scherzer Nationals jerseys around here, so certainly some people will be excited to see him back when he does take the mound tomorrow. Back to you. I don't think it's going to be as acrimonious as when we saw Bryce Harper come back to Nats Park for the first time. I think that's a safe bet. But I want to ask you, David, because you're right there. Uh, the, the new sports book is right behind you. That's a new addition. I'm curious, have you seen a lot of people uh, putting some bets on the game, too, over there? Well, let's, let's give a quick live look over there, Jim. You can see, I can tell you, we've been down here since about 1 o'clock today and have seen a lot of people coming in and out of the sports book there. Haven't gotten a chance to ask people where they are placing their bets, if it's mm -hmm. on tonight's game, which direction they may be going. But uh, certainly a lot of activity here as people are excited about a opening day that doesn't have any sort of COVID restrictions. At yeah, this point. very quickly, too. You, you uh, covered a story two nights ago that got a ton of traction on Fox5DC.com. Right across the street, there are those streeteries outside Walters, outside Mission. Those did not go away. They are still out there, correct? The city and the businesses they are, have... They are, they are still out there, Jim. I can actually tell you that we did see some of the Jersey barriers put up outside of Mission and outside of Walters. And in a little bit of a twist, some of the jersey barriers are actually the Irish flag, uh, <laughs> maybe something that they used during a St. Patty's Day <laughs> right. celebration. Yeah. And the owner, the owner of Walters ha happened to tell me that uh, I guess we're an Irish bar now. Is sort of what he said. <laughs> well, I'm sure they're glad to be open. David Kaplan, enjoy your first opening day at Nats Park.